Hey guys, it's Scar, and welcome to episode two of our top five ESO PvP fights of the week. I absolutely love the support that you guys showed on episode one, and I am so excited to do a new episode every Sunday. So please submit those clips. Let's get them in. The one thing I do have to request with those clips, when you do submit them to sakartop 5 at gmail.com, please submit them as an unlisted YouTube video. It is the easiest for me. It gets the best quality out of them. And I really want to show off these clips at the highest quality possible. That way I'm not just showing off a blurry mess. So unfortunately some people did send some blurry uh, videos this past week, but this way moving forward, we can get as many people going and some better quality clips. So please, do that. But without further ado, let's get on with the episode two. And at the number five spot, we have Umbra on the Xbox server. I don't know if they're on NA or EU, but they are on Xbox and they make Dragon Knight Bomber look like so much fun. They are just making this corrosive Oaken Soul Plague Break Dark Convergence build look so fun. Look at everybody just get blown up like that. That is crazy. They're still in corrosive and they already have another one ready to go. It is crazy. They see that first bomb get off and they get so many. They're about to get that second proc off and they are just getting ready to blow them all up and oh my lord. Lord, it is just so beautiful to see. Oh, I love this so much. I know this clip is really old because it's from a few months ago, but it's still beautiful to see nonetheless. And honestly, they just get into another corrosive real quick. They're ready to blow them all up again. What's about to happen? <laughs> oh, look at them all just go down. It is beautiful to see. This last person right here just seems to be a healer and there's a holding block, so it's tough on a bomber build to take this out in a 1v1 situation, but they're playing the smart game. They saw somebody trying to get the res off real quick, so they're about to hit that dark convergence, pull both of these guys in. Uh, anybody? One of them. Nice. Uh, the other one looks like they're kind of struggling a bit too, so it is honestly just so amazing to see. Look at how many bodies are just on the ground. That's one person doing all this amazing work. The Bowalt is a lot of pressure, but they end up blind and sighting it, so they're not taking too much damage. And honestly, this is just so beautiful to see. The amount of bodies on the floor is just, ugh, amazing. And back on the top five, we have Exotic and K showing up at that number four spot, just absolutely showing these yellows in Imperial City who is in control. Just deletes two of them so quickly and just makes this the easiest 1v2 right now of his life. The two at the beginning just didn't know what hit them. And this fourth right here is just struggling. They're light attacking. They're bashing. And they don't understand what's going on. And he is just going to just take control and just take all of their Telvar. You love to see it. Before we get to that number three spot, I want to start a new segment on our top five where we do a bomb of the week. It's hard to feature a bomb as a top five, so I want to reserve a spot specifically for all bombers in this game. This week, we've got Zeus Boy and his buddy Ego just deleting all these Zergs. Oh my god, look at how much the bodies there are. Oh, <laughs> it's beautiful to see. Look at that. Oh, GG, good bomb. And at the number three spot, we have Linog LFC on the PlayStation EU server showing these yellows on this resource that this is his resource and he is not going to take anything from them. They, he is making this Necromancer work so well and you absolutely love to see it. A non-harmony Necro is so rare to see nowadays. Already secures one kill. And honestly, this is the kind of build that makes these kind of Necromancers look like so much fun. And it makes me want to hop on and play this. Look at how tanky he is. Look at how much damage he's doing. These Blast Bones that he's throwing out are just hitting so unbelievably hard. And the amount of dots that he has on this is just beautiful. The Mayor Salak does so much damage on his enemies. Secures another kill. And honestly, his Dawnbreakers and his Blast Bone combos are just hitting like an absolute truck. He's making sure to get Ellie's susceptibility on all of his enemies. That way they're squishy. Look at that sword. Just go down with damage. And then this Nightblade right there just dying so quickly on this build. It is beautiful to see. These proc builds are so much fun in this meta. 
Unfortunately, the Dawnbreaker does not connect because he gets CC at the end. You gotta love cast times in this game. It's beautiful to see, but secures the kill regardless. Honestly, he is just doing so much damage, and he is working these yellows so much. The amount of dot pressure that he has on his enemies is actually insane. But the amount of damage that they're doing on him is a lot too. And he's got to be careful because if he's not paying attention to his buffs and his heals, he could get punished very quickly. But honestly, I think he's in control of this fight. He's losing a lot of stamina from these roll dodges. But I think for the most part, he's really in control of this fight. Look at how much damage this person is taking right here. They are just, they have to just be on the defensive nonstop because of all the procs that he has on them. He is just putting so many dots on them, and it's unbelievable. The rending, the Vatistron proc, the Marisolok proc, it's so many damages on them, and honestly, he is just really making them get so much damage on them. Oh, it's beautiful to see. I can't even speak. It's so beautiful. Look at this. He gets him to execute, but Kowag is honestly such a uh, high healing ability that the person goes right back up to full health. This Templar right here doesn't seem to know how to heal, which is a truly unfortunate uh, attribute of this healer right here because look at that. They are just struggling. They are lost in the sauce, and they are in control of this fight, Lionog. And he is just rending this person. Tries to get over to block bash him, but I don't think that's enough stamina to get the block bash off. And they do get rezzed, but honestly, that is fine. You kill him once, you can kill him again. That's the name of the game in ESO. Look at them just dotting them all up again, trying to make sure they all have the Ellie's susceptibility proc on them to really make sure that they have that major breach on them because you want to lower their resistances. Look at this Dawnbreaker about to go off. Beautiful to see. Kills the Head Templar once again. And honestly, in control of this fight so much. Took a lot of damage right there, but... Nah, he's fine. He's fine. If he, he's got a Lionel has got another random here. He's gonna be in control of this fight. Look at that person right there. They uh there's one left, and honestly, we know how this is gonna go. It's beautiful. GG's. And at the number two spot, we have Panda T on the PlayStation NA server. Absolutely making light work with one of my favorite classes in the game. It's great to see Magden be so viable again. And Panda just makes it look so easy and just shows these yellows. Honestly, he's in control the entire fight. Look at how much damage they're doing with this permafrost going out right now. Oh, that person just gets hit with the shulk combo, and it's unfortunate to see. Already one killed secure in the bag, and he's so tanky. Another killed secured. It is beautiful to see. I absolutely love Warden. It's so, I keep on saying this, but it is so nice to see it be viable again. Look at how much damage that they're just outputting. The AoE pressure is just insane. It's just so nice to see Shulks be able to just do so much burst damage combined with the, what I'm assuming is the Master's Ice Staff that they have. It is just an absolute beautiful, beautiful playstyle. Definitely one of my favorites in the game. And I will always have a soft spot for any Magnum clips that have ever come up on this channel. I love them so much. Panda's just kiting right now, trying to really find an opening with his enemies. I think there are five on him currently in total, which that's a lot of damage that he can take if uh, they're just standing still. So hits him with the Northern Storm once again, and he's taking a lot of damage, but so are they. So if they're not careful, he could turn and burst them once he's back up to full health. So we'll see how it goes. It is a lot of kiting right now, which unfortunately you do need to do when you are 1vxing because you cannot take that pressure straight up. You will take way too much damage. You'll lose too many resources and you'll end up losing the fight. So running around like this is definitely a smart play on Panda's part. Look at how much damage they take and just don't really heal. So Panda knows that they can secure that this fight, but they have to be smart about it. They have to just really outplay them as much as possible just kiting 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 you kind of need to in a situation like this where you will be caught out and the ice wall is a very smart decision it's going to slow them down and look at that the first person doesn't even heal themselves and gets killed again it's beautiful to see they have another northern storm up i'm curious to see if they use it right here they do use it and the amount of damage that everybody is taking that aoe pressure is nuts Everybody's down to half health, but they're back up to full now, and it is just beautiful to see something like this. You can just tell exactly how this fight is going to go 
if you are smart about it, if you're careful about it, if you don't get too greedy in a situation like this, somebody like Panda can tell they have this kill, they have this 1vx in the bag, and they are just playing this so smart right now, leaving ice walls behind so that they're slow, so that Panda can get some resources back, so they can get some heals back, and really just be able to just see if they can find anybody open by themselves in this situation. I love Magden so much, and being able to see this is just a thing of beauty. I love it. It's, ugh. They're still chasing so many of them right now, and Panda's going to take this opportunity to turn and burst them. Hits him with the Shulk combo with the Master's Clench. Can he secure any of the kills right here, though? That one? Yes, he kills one. Can he get the second right there? Get the second. Panda, get the second. Can he get it? And he gets the second. Look at it. It's so beautiful. All this kiting. You can see how well it's doing, and honestly, it's beautiful to watch. you love to see it. And at the number one spot, we've got E E E I E I E E. Yeah, you you get it. You you, you see the name. Yeah, I'm I'm not going any further with that. With his Sam Sork on the PC NA server, it is just beautiful to see. I watched this clip ahead of time, and I was just giddy watching this. He's already secured three kills, and look at how much damage he's doing to everybody. That's another kill secured, and he is just making light work of these reds. It is beautiful to watch. He's making sure to dot everybody up and making sure to hit them with his Vatistron proc, and oh... Look at them just get deleted. He's just running around, taking them out one by one. It's a massacre. It is beautiful. Oh, look at this person. They are just taking so much damage. They don't even know what to do about it. But Monkey is taking a lot of pressure. His name is Monkey. For those of you guys that don't know, I'm not going to call him E-E-E-E. -E -E -E. I've got morals and principles. Thank you very much. So... Look at how much damage he's doing to everybody. He has to play very smart. You can see that there are just so many reds around this tower. And he's just going to show off his jumping skills real quick. He's like, ha ah, look at me. I can jump. Look at me. And he sees some people. He sees this person's by himself. And he sees this person's by himself too. Just electing to be patient about all of his fights right now. And sees this person is caught out by themselves. And look how much damage they're taking off of the rip. And it is beautiful to see his Dawnbreaker after he's dotted them up. It's just so much damage. He's got the second person right here. And they are just lost in the sauce. They're scared. They don't know what to do. This Sork right here is just free casting. It's just so much damage. And I think that he's going to elect to kite a little bit. But no. Oh, look. Can he secure the kill? Oh. <laughs> the sword gets punished for being a little too eager and monkey's out here just showing off his jumping skills once again he can he sees that night blade is so squishy and just absolutely one shots him and it is just oh uh, look at it. now you guys see why i'm just so in love with this clip it is just beautiful there are so many bodies everywhere and they're just getting punished non-stop Look at this. Another one. Another one. I, I've honestly lost track of how many bodies he's put on the floor right here. It's just so many. So many. I, I can't even count that high. What's even happening right now? Even more are showing up. I thought that that was the end of the clip. But look at this. There's more showing up. It's beautiful to watch. Oh, this is... The reason that this is at the number one spot is is, is fairly obvious. Look at how many people are just dying non-stop and the, the impressive thing is is this is on a stamp sword guys so a lot of people submit clips on dragonites uh, wardens night blades but seeing a stamp sword just run a tower like this it is beautiful to watch and i'm honestly enjoying every single second of just commentating this watching this look at this guy in his van bolt scope <laughs> that dude gets dropped <laughs> he's got two more here is this the end of the clip i have no idea but it is beautiful to watch look at this person just absolutely taking so much dot pressure he doesn't even know what to oh my lord look at that and now it's the 1v1 and let look at the resources look at how much damage he's got we already know how this is gonna end it's beautiful ggs Great number one spot. And that was episode two. I really enjoyed that so much. That was so much fun. I was really excited to show off a bomb segment too. I felt like that was a little bit different. And I really want to be able to show off the bombers too. Because it's harder to do them in a top five segment. And it really shows that there are a bunch of different play styles in this game. Not just one PvP style. 
So guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you want to submit any clips, sakartop 5 at gmail.com. The link will be in the description. Send me your best PvP clips. We're going to be doing this every Sunday. So show off your clips. I would love to see them so much. And yeah, let's just make this a running series. And I can't do that without your guys' help. So guys, thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you guys next week. Later.